Today I want to show you a tip on how to import a recipe or a cookbook file into your Cook and Recipe Organizer. This is a, a file that has the extension of a .dbo file and there's a couple times you'll do this. Um, from our newsletters that we put out we have recipes that are downloadable as these little .dbo files as well as if you purchase a cookbook from our website. They come as these uh, uh, cookbook files that are extension .dbo. And there's two ways to do this and this is why I want to show you. If you have a cookbook that you've purchased, you end up on a page uh, that's a basic thank you page with a download button and some little instructions here. Now the instructions tell you to right click on the button and this is one way you can do it. And then from the drop down menu there's some options and depending on what browser you're using um, you'll want to select an option that says something like download linked file as it'll say save linked file as or save target as those are some of the more common ones you'll see but again it depends on the browser you're using you're looking for that as and the dot 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 because what the dot 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 means is there's a menu that comes after this and that's what you want because what it does is it brings up another place where you can then um, choose to save that file a lot of the browsers now just download to wherever the default place is and for this method to save you time, it's just easier to save it in the right place to begin with. So what you want to do is save it in Documents. Now I'm on a Mac here, but it's in the same place on a Windows machine as well. In the Documents folder, you'll look for a Cookin' 10 or Cookin' 9 if that's what the one you're using. In Cookin' 10 or 9, you will then find a Downloads folder. You want to open that up, and this is where you want to save the file. Okay, and once you've saved the file there, come back to Cookin' and a little notification pops up that says there are new files found in the downloads folder. Cookin will move them to and this is the location where the data is stored and import them now. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and Cookin's then going to proceed to import this cookbook. We'll go ahead and let that happen real fast. Okay, the cookbook is imported. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and there's our new cookbook. Going wild in the kitchen. I'm going to go ahead and just delete it for our purposes here. And I'm going to switch back to this page. Now instead of right clicking on it, you can do it also this way. It's a button that's made to click on. If you download the file, and here I have a little download manager. Okay, it's finished downloading. I can then switch back to cooking. And then the other way is to choose File up here at the top and Import cook and recipe file. Now this dialog box pops up and it wants to know where the file was downloaded. And this is where you're going to need to know where your browser downloaded it. Um, I happen to know mine's in the downloads folder that just comes standard on a Mac. I think there was also on Windows as well. Going wild in the kitchen. There it is. And I click open. Now it's doing the exact same thing. It's now importing the cookbook but it's just two different ways to do it. And this comes in handy for a couple of reasons. One, it may be a little bit confusing to right click and save target as and then put it in the right folder. Um, but another reason is too, you can also export your cookbooks and save them as uh, .dbo files. You may use that for a backup or you may want to take your recipes and share them with another member of your family. And if that's sitting on your desktop, it may be easier just to open cooking and choose you know, file import. So these recipes have finished, and then we have our cookbook here again, and here we go. So there's two ways to import a cookbook, and again, this works for res newsletter recipes as well as cookbooks you purchase from our website, as well as your own backups, anything with a .dbo file, and I hope this helps.